Huh, look at that. Oh, women's hospital. Huh, wow. Look at that. Turn right onto Oxford Terrace. Riverside, Riverside Market, which was a suggestion of one of the um, viewers who showed up yesterday. Hi, Bridget, <laughs> at my meet and greet. And I'm gonna go in and check it out. I'm gonna get some lunch. It's about 11:30, and I haven't really eaten yet today. A couple almonds, a couple walnuts. And uh, I'm gonna see what's in here. Check it out. See what there might be to eat. She said it's kind of like uh, local small vendors. And uh, so I'm excited to see what they've got. I like local small vendors. Bummer. That's a bummer. <laughs> Gosh, there is so much goodness all in one place. Oh, I just forgot to take a picture of the cheeses. I'll take a picture of the cheeses when I go back. I'm gonna go get some. I think I might just stay here all day and eat. I really do. There's all kinds of vegan goodies. And non-vegan goodies if you're not a vegan. But my jaw dropped when I saw the vegan cheese selection back there. And there's lots of kombucha. Uh, oh, here's beer, if you drink beer. So if you come to, where am I, Riverside Market, right, Riverside Market, and you want to try some delicious kombucha, you need to make sure you check out Kombucha Girls. Not only is it amazing, delicious kombucha, but uh, the owner is amazing. We just had a nice chat, and she's a female business owner. She's been in business less than a year, and, you know, the first year is rough. And um, it's all organic, <laughs> and it's all small batch. And what's your name? Tiny. Tony, mm -hmm. and this is Tony, the owner. So I was just shooting before you, like you weren't here, <laughs> telling everybody how amazing you are Aww. and how we support entrepreneurs. So if you're at um, Riverside Market, come see Tony and get some kombucha. Kombucha girls, really, really good. Vegan sweets too. Oh, what did I get? I got the pineapple mango. And a tofu scramble wrap, which is not gluten free, but I've been eating gluten going through my migraine medicine like crazy too. And a raspberry lemonade. So this poor church has been through a lot. It's called the Christchurch Cathedral and it was built between 1864 and 1904 and it's in the city, it's in the center of the city surrounded by Cathedral Square. Earthquakes have repeatedly damaged the building, mostly the spire in 1881, 1888, 1901, 1922 and 2010. And in February 2011, the Christchurch earthquake destroyed the spire and the upper portion of the tower and severely damaged the rest of the building. The lower part was demolished immediately following the, the 20, 2011 earthquake to facilitate search and rescue operations. And the remainder of the tower was demolished in 2012. And now they are working on rebuilding it. Wow. The wish tree, what is one big wish you have for yourself? 
authenticity, bravery, new beginnings, confidence, employment, Mount Everest, invisibility, invisibility. The peace tree, what is one wish you have for the world? Kindness, <laughs> that was the first word I came upon. That's the first word my eyes laid eyes on. Acceptance, belonging, openness, forgiveness, patience. Cancer cure, honesty, they're all very good. The well-being, what nourishes your soul? I'm gonna close my eyes and see what the first word I see is. Trees, <laughs> literally. Where is it, where'd it go? Trees was literally the first thing I saw. Friendship, pets, mindfulness, relaxing, wilderness. Oh, this is awesome. The connection tree, where in Christchurch is your favorite place to be in conversation? I'm going to close my eyes and see what comes up, even though I don't know. Walking. <laughs> okay, I need to stop looking in that direction. Toastmasters, Black Bettys, parties. <laughs> the witness tree. How do you help improve the world? Okay. Uh, learning. Huh? My curiosity. Learning. Harmony, giving, contribution, forgiveness. The wisdom tree. What is the one thing you know for sure? Again, I'm going to close my eyes. I don't like pointing. Pointing didn't work. First word I see. S simplicity. The one thing you know for sure. Simplicity. Yeah, I like that. Consciousness. Change. Food. <laughs> the gratitude tree. What are you grateful for? Let's see what I come up with. Guinness. Nope, that's not me anymore. Forgiveness. Nope. <laughs> I'm not about forgiveness. <laughs> Some people don't deserve to be forgiven. This is really cool. Dogs. I saw dogs. This was fun. I love street art, murals and stuff. So it's called the Grove of Intention. I really like this. So what are we um, about? Nine years ago, February 22nd, a 6.2 earthquake rocked Christchurch, and uh, in the CB, it was it was centered in the CBD district, which is the central business district. That's what uh, New Zealanders, Kiwis, call their central business district. They shorten it CBD. And as I'm walking around, you can see uh, some buildings completely demolished. Some buildings were left intact, and I think it was like a, a street by street, probably depending on when it was built. Uh, the I haven't taken too much of the tram ride yet, but a little bit from what the couple blocks that I was on it She said that um, some streets were completely left intact because of the earthquake and the building codes When the buildings were built were more stringent than they were in the olden days and you can kind of see behind me um, Look at these old buildings that are just no longer inhabitable because they probably spend they would probably spend uh, millions of dollars to retrofit them uh, or they're just waiting to tear them down. But you know, it's weird. You can go on some streets and everything is shiny and new and there's tons of construction going on and everything is bustling and new shops and new restaurants and then you come to a street like this and you can imagine at one time there might have been a lot going on here, but now it's almost a ghost town, but it's just also just one street, the next street over, everything is brand new and shiny there are restaurants and, and um, shops and everything so it's pretty cool this is why I love just getting out and walking around especially in a foreign city or even a city in the US that I've never been to before and uh, taking a tram ride and talking to locals really also helps to understand the history better and a little bit about what's going on the uh, family that I rented my van from, the Kit Campers family, uh, they were here, they've lived here, and they were here for the earthquake, and they said it was so shallow, and it was right in the center of town, and it went on for a long time that it just rocked the city. Some parts of the city were completely um, decimated, just completely in rubble and here we are nine years later and they're still rebuilding so it's kind of interesting to walk it's 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 an interesting city to walk through i don't think i've ever experienced a city quite like it it's because there's so much construction going on because they literally are rebuilding some areas from the ground up um i think a lot of it actually they're rebuilding almost from the ground up
In fact, this is a Kaplan College building. Wasn't Kaplan one of those uh, you those universities that um, that scammed millions of students out of tuition and didn't give them the education they promised, and then Betsy DeVos just gave them a pass or gave something. Betsy DeVos decided that students weren't weren't able to sue them or something. Actually, there was some scam involved where they were in cahoots with the government or something and giving them really high interest student loans and they were defrauding students and not giving them degrees they said they were going to give them or something and then I think Betsy DeVos, the Secretary of Education, decided that they still are on the hook for those tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loans even though the university was convicted or something like that. Yeah. Yep. More power to the corporations and screw the little people. <laughs> See the, what are they? They're, they're hammocks. If you want to just rest in the middle of the day in the park, you can just lay in a hammock. The sea of fence behind that and the concrete columns, that's the exciting bit. Look behind the fence, all oh, people are peeking through the uh, barriers. And you can see the young chicks on there. They started to remove the tiles. As a result of the quakes, they had the tiles remade. The ones with the very cream backgrounds are the uh, are the old ones. The ones with the very white backgrounds are the new. empty lot probably used to be a building <laughs> look at what they did <laughs> this looks cozy what do you think oh. <laughs> yep it's pretty cozy nice place to sit and put your feet up it's artificial turf Beautiful day here in Christchurch. A little warm for what I'm wearing, but it's not bad. I just had an amazing coffee. Where did I go? It was called the Caffeine Laboratory with a name like that. I figured I had to go, and it was a really smooth, delicious espresso. It was very good. And I asked for two shots of espresso over ice, and they gave it to me like in a little shot glass. <laughs> um, iced coffee or even iced espresso is definitely a uh, an American concept, North American concept. Not so much a New Zealand thing. The one I did have was a milkshake. So I'm about ready to, I can see the cathedral from here. I'm gonna go jump back on the tram, give my little feet a rest. Maybe get off again and stop somewhere else, and explore a different area before I head back to the um, Riverside Market before I head back to my hotel to pick up a bunch of goodies dinner. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There's the tram. I just missed it. So I have time to relax. All right. I'm just going to sit here and relax for a bit. I'll see you in the next video where I explore a Christchurch, New Zealand museum and a beautiful library and some more history and some beautiful architecture. Stay tuned. That's coming up next. Don't go away.